We bought four and a half football fields worth of electrical tape to see which tape was best. We tested their performance after being exposed to the heat and the cold. We also tested their flame retardancy and much more. So if you want to find out who takes the crown, then stick around. Go into your toolbox and you'll probably find a roll of black electrical tape. It's been so long since you used it, it's most likely cracked or extremely sticky. Electrical tape, or known by few as insulating tape, is a type of pressure sensitive tape used to insulate and protect electrical wires and other materials that conduct electricity. Vinyl electrical tapes are by far the most popular because they are inexpensive and can endure temperatures as high as 221 degrees Fahrenheit. Many people use electrical tape around the house and in their cars, but should you? Is electrical tape waterproof? Not really. Although it's stretchy and can be wrapped tightly as to avoid water intrusion, the adhesive properties will degrade over time, especially when you subject them to high temperatures. For our first test, we will be using a calibrated force gauge sensor and a manual test stand to pull apart the tapes and record their maximum tensile strength. We prepped three samples of each tape measuring two inches long. Time for our first contender, the Amazon commercial vinyl electrical tape. Amazon does not sell these individually. So we went ahead and bought a pack of 10 for $25.42. They advertise a thickness of 0.07 inches and that claim holds true. This tape had a tensile strength of 13.43 pounds of force. Next up, we have one of the cheapest options in the pack, the Amazon Wapadea. Wapadee? This tape has some bold claims on its product page, such as impressive stickiness based on decades of tape production. They also claim this tape is not easy to break. We'll see about that. For the price of $5.69, you get a pack of three and a peepee -pee bag. What? This is the only tape that does not have a UL listed, thus it has not gone through rigorous safety standard tests. This tape comes in at a meager 7.87 pounds of force. In fairness, it is only 0.63 inches, instead of three quarters of an inch, like all the others. Let's see how the others stack up though. Next up, we have the Walmart HyperTough tape, coming in at only 80 cents for a 60 foot roll. This tape has an impressive tensile strength of 13.60 pounds of force. The next two tapes are Duck Brand Economy and Duck Brand Heavy Duty Automotive Vinyl Tapes. Both are rated for 176 degrees and the Heavy Duty Automotive claims it is fire retardant. They advertise the Economy tape as 7 mil thick and the Automotive one as 8.5 mil thick. The thickness of these tapes were way off from what was advertised, coming in at 6.4 and 8 mils respectively. The Economy has a tensile strength of 10.93 pounds of force and the Automotive has a very impressive 15.38 pounds of force. And with a price of $1.30, we have Home Depot's Commercial Electric Economy and $1.58 high temperature vinyl tapes. The Economy is rated at 171 degrees and the high temp is SA rated at 221 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the high temps are advertised as 7 mils thick, it is actually 7.4. These tapes are really strong with an average tensile strength of 13.62 and 14.85 pounds of force. Next up, we have 3M 1700 Tempflex, 35 Blue, Super 33 Plus, and Extreme Weather. And their prices are... These tapes are rated for 221 degrees Fahrenheit, or 176, or 220, fuck it. These tapes come in at 10.87, 10.15, 9.13, and 9.38 pounds of force respectively. Now, before you go decorating your car with colorful electrical tape like this car right here, you know that these are not meant for aesthetic purposes. Actually, they're used to categorize electrical phases and differentiate low voltage from high voltage. We have 3M Super 88 at a price of $8.11. Its thickness is actually a little higher than advertised at 8.3 mils. It is rated at 221 degrees or 176. This is a new one. Same great performance, new look. Uh, who's even reviewing these? The professional Super 88 was in the middle of the pack. Lastly, we have Tessa. Although not technically an electrical tape, we wanted to include it because it is highly rated harness tape for cars and maybe it can be used in conjunction with other electrical tapes to give you a long lasting solution. I really wasn't expecting this tape to be this strong. That first test was a fail. Maybe if I try a hula hoop technique. 
Nope. Let's bring reinforcements. And wow, this tape took 74.55 pounds of force. Overall, the Amazon Tessa was extremely impressive with 74.5 pounds of force. The Home Depot brand did really well. The Professional Super 88 was in the middle of the pack and the Amazon Wapadei was lacking far behind. Next up, we will be testing each tape's adhesive strength. In order to do that, we prepared samples using a 1.5 by 3 inch aluminum plate and cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol. We then proceeded to carefully adhere the tapes to the plate and in order to ensure a fair comparison, we adhere each strip with equal amounts of pressure utilizing an ASTM standard roller. This 2 kilogram roller features a rubber shore hardness of 80 and prevents you from exerting additional downward pressure aside from its own weight by being loosely held on its axis. Amazon Commercial, Wapadei, and Walmart's Hyper Tough come in at 2.37, 1.35, and 2.25 respectively. Duck Brand Economy and Automotive come in at 1.42 and 1.58. Home Depot Economy and High Temperature are 1.34 and 2.12. For the 3M tapes, we have the following adhesive strengths, 1.47, 1.65, 1.54, and 1.47 again. The Super 88 and the Tessa come in with 1.38 and 1.51 pounds of force. In summary, the Amazon Commercial, Hyper Tough, and Home Depot High Temperature led the pack, putting in numbers above 2 pounds of force. And just like the Home Depot brand, the Duck Brand Automotive has a clear advantage over its economy counterpart. If you're putting these tapes in the middle of winter, these tapes can experience extreme cold temperatures. And if you're using this in your car, temperatures can range anywhere between 212 degrees Fahrenheit near the center of your engine bay, or as high as 750 degrees near the catalytic converter. That's enough heat to melt lead, so please don't use any of these tapes near catalytic converters. So, can these tapes withstand extreme temperatures? Well, to test this out, we submitted samples of each tape to 30 degrees Fahrenheit and placed additional samples in the oven at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. The Amazon commercial did not hold up to the heat. It stuck to itself pretty well. As far as adhesion testing goes though, the heat did not appear to affect it that much. But after subjecting it to cold temperatures, it had an increase in adhesive strength of 54%. The Wapadei is definitely not rated for these temperatures. The two strips became one. <laughs> the extreme temperatures definitely affected this tape as it came in with about a 68% increase in adhesive strength. Very similar results for Walmart's Hyper Tough tape, but the cold affected it more than the heat. Duck Brand Economy and Duck Brand Auto held up pretty well to the heat. Some discoloration, but still pliable. The cold had more of an impact than the heat for both of these tapes. The Home Depot commercial electric economy and high temperatures were very impressive. No adverse effects were observed when subjected to the heat. But then comes to the adhesive strength. That Home Depot economy had a 90% increase when heated. 3M 1700 and 35 Blue were right there on the edge. They stuck to themselves but were able to be separated, albeit with quite some force. The impact of adhesion from the extreme temperatures appears to have been very similar. Super 33 performed very well, but ironically, 3M Extreme Weather struggled a little. Super 88 was unscathed at 220 degrees, and its adhesion was affected much less than the others. Tessa's harness tape looks like nothing happened to it. Very impressive. But its adhesion increased by around 45%. A lot of these tapes' adhesion strength dramatically increased when exposed to different temperatures. Although you might think that is a good thing, keep in mind this is what gets you that sticky gooey mess that we all hate when you have left the tape outside or in your engine for a long time. In this list, you can see which tapes offer the best thermal stability. Although Walmart's HyperTuff had the least percentage difference, it did stick to itself when subjected to high temperatures. Thus, 33 Plus, Duck Brand Economy, and Super 88 came in on top. For our next test, we will be testing their flame retardancy claims. We spaced each tape at equal distances and applied an open flame for five seconds. Amazon fared pretty well, extinguishing itself pretty easily. Wapadei, well, let's just say their flame retardancy claims are a little inflated. Walmart HyperTuff went up in flames. Both Duck Brand Economy and Automotive extinguished themselves pretty quickly. Commercial electric tape performed very good. 
3M 1700 and 35 blue did outstanding. Super 33 and Extreme Weather were able to put that fire away and Super 88 did very good overall. And Tessa, that tape just got a little tickled. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We wanted to test how much adhesive residue each of these tapes left behind. We placed a strip of tape on a clear glass pane and applied equal amounts of pressure using the two kilogram roller. Given the adhesive is barely visible, we sprinkled some fully organic hand-picked coconut flour to be able to tell the difference. Now, this test is very subjective, but in our opinion, it appears 3M 1700, Super 88, and Tessa performed the best in this matchup, leaving very little residue. Walmart's Hyper Tough and Duck brand performed poorly in this test. How do you apply electrical tape? Well, manufacturers recommend you stretch the tape and apply it overlapping by 50%. The vinyl electrical tape then shrinks oh. naturally to create a tight weather resistant seal. In order to test which tape would create a tighter seal, we applied exactly 10 inches of each tape to a metal bar and stretched them by double its length. And then, <laughs> after rethinking our testing methodology, we stretched each tape individually by the same amount and subsequently released them. As you can tell, there are only 12 tapes here. We removed the test of tape from this test as it does not stretch even a single inch. But as you can see, the Amazon commercial and the Home Depot economy tape performed very poorly in this test. Then the Home Depot high temperature followed by Hyper Tough and 3M 1700. All the others were very close to each other in this test. And lastly, we wanted to test each tape's resistance to common chemicals found in the engine bay of a car, such as power steering fluid, engine degree, engine degreaser, and used motor oil. After soaking all the samples for 15 minutes in the engine degreaser, most tapes seemed unfazed until 3M1700, which appeared to start degrading. Super 33 and Extreme Weather also did not fare well, but Tessa performed exceptionally. As for power steering, the only losers here was us with the mess we cost, but all the tapes actually performed very well. And lastly, we let the samples soak in used oil for a total of seven days outside. All the tapes appeared to not have been affected. After tallying up all the rankings, 3M Super 88 comes on top. There's a reason why this tape is the favorite of many electricians out there. The 3Ms, with the exception of the extreme weather, did really well overall. But if you're looking for a more budget-friendly solution, you can go with the Duck Brand Automotive. Now, Please stay well clear of Amazon's bestsellers, Wabbity, and any other electrical tape that does not carry the UL and SA certifications. If you're working on your car and need to make a quick fix, we recommend you utilize the 3M Super 88 to make the repair and then cover it up with Tessa's harness tape. This will ensure you have a great insulation, heat resistance, and mechanical wear protection. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.